Yankees hot stove. Maybe we'll see Tommy Canely in that first spring game against Toronto. The veteran righty came out of the bullpen more than 40 times last season and started his third stint with the Yanks by posting an ERA in the twos. Our Meredith Brockovitz caught up with him at Steinbrenner Field. Thanks, Bob. I'm with Tommy Canley. Tommy, can you believe we are back in Tampa again? Yes, I'm excited. You know, be back here in Florida, getting outside, throwing, and uh, being with the guys. It's, uh, it feels good so far, and I'm excited for when everybody else gets over here. When did you get down here? When did you start throwing again? Uh, so I got down here February 7th, so a week ago, and uh, I started throwing, when was it? I want to say the end of November. I want to say is when I began my throwing, but I didn't get to throw outside, obviously, because where I'm from, it's a little cold and snowy. It's funny, though, because you, of all people, I feel like you would try it. Yeah, <laughs> I used to back in the day, but I guess I got older and I didn't feel like going out with the, the cold weather. So Older and wiser. How are you feeling right now? I know it was a little bit of a roller coaster of a year last year for you. Yeah, so right now I feel really good. My shoulder's healthy. I feel good to go. I mean, I think I'm throwing... A bullpen, I want to say early, I think Monday maybe? I can't remember. They have the schedule laid out for me, but but I feel much better. Obviously, shoulder feels ready to roll, and uh, I'm pretty excited to get out there and get on the mound. What have you done differently, if anything, as far as your training routine is concerned to try to prevent any shoulder issues this season? Uh, really was just kind of taking care of my body better. I mean, I'm getting older, so got to figure out ways to try to stay healthier and obviously I hate missing time and uh, it was just changing a few things here and there and it seemed to so far click. You were just joking I can't believe I'm like the old veteran guy in the clubhouse now is that kind of hard to wrap your head around that you're the guy maybe that is helping some of these younger kids out? Yeah I think it is kind of it's it's hard to even like I, I remember being the young kid here back in like 2013 just being in my first big league camp, like, whoa, look at all these veterans and stuff. But now being that older guy is just, it's, it's I don't know if it's surreal because I'm still crazy and yell and immature all the time anyways. But <laughs> it is fun to, you know, they look at me kind of as like a, you know, a role model and look up to me and like ask me things and stuff. So it is, I like it. But in terms, you know, it's, it's a far cry from what I used to be. What's something you wish you could have told your younger self that would have helped you? Uh, I definitely wish that I, you know, was a little more mature at that age, <laughs> but there's nothing you can do. You're young and you're just, that's just how it is. And what's changed about the way you prepare for a season as you're a veteran now? Um, so I would say obviously, so my weightlifting has taken, I toned down a little bit. I don't lift as crazy heavy as I used to, but, uh, also just kind of like throwing wise as well. So we had to figure out some kind of program that would help my shoulder. So if I didn't come in, you know, come up with a hiccup in my shoulder again or anything like that. So, so far it's been good and I really like what I've been doing. So we kind of changed my throwing program around. I've been tweaking my weightlifting and stuff. So, and I feel good. Aside from staying healthy, is there anything else you want to accomplish this spring or anything in particular you really want to work on? Uh, really, it's just getting back out there and just pitching. I mean, I miss pitching and, it's just uh, working on a few things. Obviously, I've changed a few things with, uh, you know, two-seam fastball now and slider grip, and I'm pretty excited to kind of see how it plays out in a game. So, What's what's different about the slider grip? So I switched it, and I was kind of watching. I was talking to Garrett about it, and uh, I was actually funny. I was watching a video of him throw his slider and, like, slow-mo video just to kind of see how he grips it, how he throws it, and... A lot of the guys back home or the catchers that I have, they were saying it much different than my old one, and I was pretty excited at the time, so I kind of want to see how it plays out against the guys here. When you say different, what looks different about the shape of it to you right now before throwing to hitters? Yeah, so uh, it was. they were saying the break was late, and that's a good thing for me because a lot of the times early, like, you know, for the last 12, 13 years I've been pitching, my slider, is, it's been hit or miss, very inconsistent. I've never had kind of a late break to it. Guys have always been able to see it pretty early. So I'm pretty excited to see if this is, you know, a little different and helps me get righties out. I feel like solid move going to Garrett Cole for a little pitching advice, right? It seems yeah. like he might be the guy after last season and obviously uh, throughout his career. When you look at the pitching staff, we'll start with that rotation. Obviously, you're in the bullpen, but what do you think of the rotation coming into this spring? It looks good. I mean, we got five guys, five really good guys, you know, and then obviously it's headed by Garrett, you know, just want to Cy Young. So 
And then we have Carlos coming back. Looks good, looks healthy. Brought in Stroman, which is a huge piece. And then we have Clark again. I mean, he was great last year. You know, his was his second year in the league. I don't – he hasn't – so we got him. And then Nestor coming back. Looks healthy. And as long as Nestor's healthy, and I mean, he's going to be great. I mean, he obviously was an all-star for a reason. Do you like the way the bullpen is shaping up so far? Yeah. I mean, we look good. I mean, I – They've added a lot of pieces, so, I mean, it's going to be a pretty good battle at the back end for uh, the last couple spots, so. And then we obviously brought over uh, my buddy Ferguson from the Dodgers, so I was pretty excited when I saw that. And uh, I'm just excited to see everybody. What can you tell us about Caleb Ferguson? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, he's very, very quiet. I mean, he's not going to – he's just, you know, down to earth. He's grinder. I mean, I, I was telling Booney this offseason uh, – He's a, he's a gamer, man. He's going to take the ball and he's going to pitch, and that's just what he does. And he, he's not like me, so, but he's my guy. Well, I don't know you say that. You've been very quiet today. What's going on? Just easing into the spring, Tommy? Yeah, just a little bit, you know. I think it's because I haven't had that much caffeine yet. I've only had one cup of coffee. That doesn't seem right, and I'm going to leave before you get your second, third cup. But before I let you go, also a very exciting off season for you on a personal level. Second baby is here. Yes, I had, a, we had another baby. He's a boy. My daughter is, you know, she's over two now, but she's, she's a wild one. She's like me. <laughs> well, we can't wait to see him down here in Tampa. Tommy, thanks for the time. Yeah, thank you, Meredith. Send it back to you, Bob.